to a new weekly vlog. Today is July 22nd. Um, I have not, I've been posting on Poshmark since I woke up this morning, y'all, and it's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Monday. I still haven't even got to the cleaning that I want to get done around the house today. So, not sure how much footage I'm going to get for y'all just because, like I said, I've been very, very busy posting on Poshmark all morning. So, check out my Poshmark because I have a video going up Wednesday showing everything that's going to be on my Poshmark. And in the video, I said it'll be on Poshmark by the time y'all see that video. So, in order to make that happen, that's why I've been posting all morning. Um, last week's vlog went up this morning. It was almost an hour long, you guys, so I definitely made up for the week before in the hurricane issue. So, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope you had a snack because it was over 50 minutes long. Um, that was not an easy one to edit. So, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, like I said, just been posting to Poshmark this morning. If anything else changes and I put myself together and get out of house clothes, which I highly doubt I'll do, um, I'll check in with y'all. But I know tomorrow Will has a clinic appointment, so we'll probably be in town and I'll have some more footage. But it depends on if he wants to do anything after clinic because that's kind of just a weird day and that's one of those things I can end up taking up a lot of time too. But like I said, it's just a busy Monday posting to Posh. If, I, if anything interesting happens, I'll check in. If not, I'll see y'all tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, July 23rd. Um, we're actually on our way back home. We stopped at my mom's this morning and picked up a package. And then we went to Will's clinic appointment, and now we're on our way back home. Um, it's almost 2 o'clock now. Yesterday, I didn't film anything else after that clip that I had because I posted on Poshmark literally from 9 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. It was a full day of posting to Poshmark. And then, why don't look at me like that? It was. She lays in the bed and plays a little thing. Such horror. What did you do yesterday? You gonna cut all this up? Look what she did to me! Look what she did to me! I don't know if you can see it, but it's a bruise from her abuse. Call her OCS. OCS, call for your kids. She's a child, baby. No. You're so dramatic. But yeah, I didn't get any footage yesterday because all I did was post to Poshmark. We hit over 900 listens on Poshmark. Almost to a thousand. Shit. And, um, I'm gonna go through, I'll show y'all when we get home. I wanna go through my personal clothing rack and pull some stuff because it's just, it's that time of the year. Summer's like nearing an end. Nearing? We gotta hold it through. I know, but it's, it's just time for me to refresh it because I've been buying some new stuff. Um, just go through my personal clothing rack and pull some stuff out for Poshmark. I'll show y'all what I pull. And, um, to, as of now, the current plan is to go to the Salvation Army tomorrow for 50% off day and get some more stuff because I'm going to try. My goal by the end of this year is to hit a thousand listings on Poshmark. But if I can do it before then, that'd be really awesome. But, um, like I said, I'll show y'all what I'm going to do as far as Poshmark stuff when we get home. just made it to Gulfport. We're in Gulfport for the day. Uh, we have about an hour before the Salvation Army opens. We are going to source for Poshmark today. I never picked up the camera yesterday, but I did end up pulling the um, pieces that I said I was going to pull out of my personal closet for Poshmark. I pulled over 20 pieces, but I think I'm going to do a whole separate video on like my personal closet pulls for Poshmark, so that'll be up before this vlog goes up. Um, like I said, we have an hour to to kill before Salvation Army opens to source for Poshmark. So we're going to go in the treasure hunt right now. It's basically kind of like a dirt cheap and um, see if we can see anything. They literally just opened. So we're going to go see what they have.
had a treasure hunt. We spent $12.28 total. And I'm just going to show y'all what we got. I picked up this clear, um, this is a smaller document holder. I know when I, I showed y'all when I went to Dirt Cheap, I picked up a big one for the cruise. But I liked that this one was smaller because if you've ever been through, like, just the cruise port in general, um, the whole document checking process, having that big envelope flap around, I figured maybe this one will be just a lot more convenient, having just one small envelope to hold with our important stuff that gets checked in it. Um, I picked up some Avery. These are um, kid infant labels. I guess they just call them that because they're colorful, but it's 35 labels. Um, Y'all know I have that whiteboard up now. This was a pack of Expo dry erase markers that already had the magnet stuck to them, so they'll just conveniently stick right to that dry erase board. Did you see the little eraser on them? Uh, and they have, um, they also have the little erasers at the tips of the cap. And the last thing that I picked up, they had a ton, a ton of pop sockets, but I just picked up, um, just this baby pink girl power pop socket. And that was everything we got. We still have like 15 minutes before um, the Salvation Army opens. So we didn't quite kill all of our time in Treasure Hunt. But I think by the time we head over there, it'll be good. So um, we're going to head there. I'll film what we can. I'm going to be sourcing. And when you're like in the zone trying to source for Poshmark, it's kind of hard to like remember to take your phone out and film. But um I'll definitely be doing a haul video of everything that I get from Salvation Army, so that'll be up before this vlog. Fingers crossed. I need some water. Okay, so we just got out of Salvation Army. I didn't vlog in there because I was, Will and I both were full-blown reseller mode, sourcing through everything, so I didn't even whip out, like, Will was looking for himself, too, because... Yeah, he was looking for himself. Um, he got, like, three things for himself. I got one thing for myself, so... Who really does the sourcing for Bosch, Mike, here? <laughs> Me. <laughs> but, um... Oop! That was bad. It's okay, yeah. Um... Crap. It's okay. It, it didn't spill everywhere. It's just a little bit... Um, we spent exactly one hour in there, and we have a huge bag in the back seat. We spent $40, exactly, it was like $40.98. Um, right off the bat, I went straight to Women's Athletic, because there was a lot of people by the door to get in. I was scared. Yeah, I was, I was scared. <laughs> Who's reselling? Who's reselling? Yeah. Um, so I went straight to Women's Athletic. Which I'm glad I did because right off the bat, that first row hit it good for me. Lululemon, Nike, Athleta, um, found some really, really good stuff. And this is, I don't know if all Salvation Armies do it, but this is the one um, on 49 in Gulfport every Wednesday, 10 to 6, half off everything. So definitely check it out if you're reselling I mean, anywhere. It just, it's, it's cheap. Good. I mean, it, it doesn't really beat the Goodwill bins, but y you find better stuff. Yeah, as far as quality. But, um, like I said, I'm going to do a whole haul video because we have a huge bag in the back seat. Um, and Will got himself a couple things, and I got one shirt for myself. Yeah, two pairs of pants and one shirt. Yeah, so now That's we are going to go to Island Boom. View, and we're going to catch the casino's lunch buffet. So, we'll see y'all there. Okay, so we just left the buffet. Didn't get to vlog in there, but now we are at Ross, and we're actually at the entire shopping center. Um, here in Gulfport, but we're going to do some shopping, and Ross is our first stop. Since when do they have Avon at? Ross.
up. I only picked them up because they were flamingo print and they were 50 cents. Um, I got two, but I'm only going to show y'all one. Um, they're just hurricane style glasses and they have the little love flamingos. They're um, transparent, hot pink. Um, we went to Five Below and I'll just show y'all. I was going to do a haul for of like what I got in Gulfport like I did for Pensacola, but there was no point. I didn't get near as much stuff this this time. Um, five below, we picked up some airheads, and I found this tripod, and this is what it looks like. They had them in different colors, and they also had some that had lights attached to them, so that's all we got from five below. And um, from Ross, I got, I just got a pair of shorts. These are just a good pair of shorts for summer, even kind of transitioning into fall because it's cheetah print. Y'all know how I feel about cheetah print. Um, and they're super cute. They're Derek Hart. And they have the little tie around the waist. Just a really cute pair of shorts. These were $6. And that's all I got from Ross. Um, it's two, almost $2.45. And I'm going to look and see if there's a Target. And if there's not, then we're just going to head home. But that's the plan for the rest of the day because I still have a lot of all that stuff plus all the stuff I pulled yesterday to put on Poshmark. So that's the plan. Shopping Center in Slidell. 
because they have a really good Marshalls and a Dollar Tree. And from the Marshalls, I picked up this clear little organizational bag with um, just like a tropical print. I picked it up for the cruise and I like that it, I love anything clear when traveling because you know already what's in what and you just have to grab the bag. You don't really have to hunt and go through a thousand bags. Um, it's from the Bando and it's actually technified as a peekaboo clutch because it was by the wallets but I thought it would be cute for travel. Um, it was $7.99. That's the only thing we got in Marshall. And from the Dollar Tree, we picked up some blank boxes and a blank bubble mailer. Um, Dollar Tree is the cheapest place to pick up the blank packaging for like Mercari and stuff. So we picked those up. They had really, really pretty calendars out for 2020. I'll just show y'all some of the designs. Um, this one was just called Make Today Amazing. It had like floral prints. Um, this one was Enjoy the Journey. And it had more like striped and girly prints. And this one was Wild and Free. It had very much like kind of rustic but still girly stuff. Um, I picked up one for me and one for each of my sisters. Also picked up this cute little coffee and donut um, composition notebook. This is going to go in my back to school giveaway. Don't forget that's going to be coming soon because back to school is coming up. Also picked up one of the Spy Naturals Coconut Bath Bombs. Y'all know I've talked about these bath bombs before. They are some of the best bath bombs. Also picked up, again, another cra travel, <laughs> travel cruise related item. Um, these are just the two packs of the Lock Top Snacks con Snack Containers. Gosh, I've been talking. Um, they're good too. You can kind of see through them and they lock. Two for a dollar. Can't beat it. Put bobby pins, small things in here. Really good for travel. Um, picked up some just jot self laminating sheets. Just good to have. Not sure what I'm going to laminate just yet, but with travel coming up, it's good to have your extra documents laminated. And this was the only candle that I saw, but it's old Williamsburg and y'all and y'all know how I feel about the old Williamsburg candles this one was cookies and cream gelato um I, I've never seen the old Williamsburg gelato line before until now that's what the packaging looks like it's the basic um old Williamsburg style similar a lot similar to their um coffee top style except this lid is straight across the top but I think it smells good. I think it smells just like cookies and cream. Will doesn't care for the smell. But I think it smells good. It's a good sweet smell. But that's all I picked up from Dollar Tree. And now we're going to go home. Will's talking about maybe going swimming. But um, we'll see. I'll check in when we get home and let y'all know what we decide to do. This whole pile is my personal stuff that needs to get on Poshmark. And then this big bag is all Red Cross, Red Cross, Salvation Army stuff that needs to get on Poshmark. So today's Thursday. That's what I'm going to be doing all day today probably. Today is a Friday, July 26th. Um, it's almost 9 in the morning. We're on our way to the post office to drop off some orders for Poshmark. I posted so much stuff on Poshmark yesterday. I didn't finish until 5 o'clock. I know I showed y'all a brief clip of everything that I was posting up. Um, so all that is on Poshmark. Y'all can already shop that and stuff and see the videos of what's up there before this vlog. Because um, after we drop off these orders at the post office... I'm going to go home, I'm going to put on some makeup and get ready, and I'm going to film the Salvation Army haul and my um, personal closet pulls for Poshmark haul, so that'll be y'all's video for Friday and y'all's video for Saturday. 
Um, probably we'll take a break on video Sunday, and then Monday y'all will see this vlog, of course. We also, after the post office, before I go back home and film videos, um, we gotta make a stop at Walgreens, and depending on if we have time, we might run in dirt cheap. Not too sure about that, because Will has to be in Covington to take care of some stuff. So, um, we'll just kind of see how time plays out. Obviously, y'all will see footage of dirt cheap if we made it to dirt cheap. If not, I'll catch back up with y'all at home before I start filming. Back home in Will's watering his sprouts. This is broccoli. What else you got? Oh, broccoli and radishes? This is radishes. That's broccoli. Broccoli and radishes. What else you got? This is peas. Which peas aren't doing too well. They're, they got a couple that are in there that are a little rooted, but we'll keep them covered. So if y'all have any tips for growing peas, let us know in the comments below. And this is lettuce. Lettuce. So when I say he's gardening, this is what he's messing around with. Hey everyone, today is Saturday and we are on our way to the city for the day. I think the last thing I got footage of yesterday was Will's plants and stuff. I don't think I ever picked up the camera after that because I went inside and did my makeup and sat down and just went and filmed and edited for the rest of the day. Um, that's really, really all I did. Didn't do anything after that. But, yeah, we're going to the city. Um, first stop is to definitely have some lunch. And then we're talking about going to the show. But we'll see how, just how our time plays out when we get there. But we'll take y'all with us for whatever we do when we're down there today. nursery stuff but I'm gonna, about to pan over for y'all um they also have elephants but they also have dinosaurs and like tingle tingle little star
girl stuff too, unicorns. about being super casual at work it is a sweater style skirt but there's also the top that it's goes really with soft. it it's super soft but it's full-blown sweatsuit but skirt style um it, the skirt is 22 and the top is 24 it's all a new day will always finds the first sneaker <laughs> And starts looking at himself. This is why I can't take him to Target. <laughs> yesterday and I got some footage shopping I'm doing a whole separate well I've already filmed a whole separate haul on that this vlog I'm gonna wrap it up today it's gonna go up tomorrow for y'all Monday and y'all will see the stuff the um, haul of stuff that I got in New Orleans on Friday so that's what I have it scheduled for as of now. But um, so if you want to see what I got in New Orleans yesterday, make sure you're subscribed so that you can see that video when it goes up Friday. Um, yeah, like I said, we're just going to Walmart and dirt cheap. I'll um, get as much footage as I can for y'all today. about how dirt cheap was changed and everything and they got rid of their bargain buggies that they did and stuff um, we kind of got some intel from the guy that was checking us out he said he personally thinks the bargain buggies are gonna be coming back because they're not doing good with the change that they did as far as sales so they're doing some golden ticket on they're putting it on a pallet and selling it as a pallet no it's going in those buggies that they put the gold sign on and their price is marked as what's in the buggy okay. but um I spent two dollars in dirt cheap. Of course, I got two pairs of earrings. This is just a pair of Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. I thought these were so cute. Um, they're blue acrylic and they have the little gold center. They're just flowers. I hope y'all can see. I hope the sun isn't like beating down. And this is well, of course, they put it says Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar, but the like sticker covers it up. Um, these are just some white and gold ones really pretty little squares but that's all I got from dirt cheap now we're about to go in Walmart and they don't look super busy so and she broke another get some nuggets oh he said that because it's <laughs> Sunday I was like why is he saying I'm probably gonna get nuggets but um McDonald's Walmart's does the dollars. the five dollar thing with McDonald's on Sunday is chicken nuggets so yeah maybe I'll get chicken nuggets I don't know yet um we're going to Walmart to get potatoes and stuff because I saw this really good looking chicken potato crock pot dinner thing on Facebook. We should have went to store to get sour cream. We can still go. Yeah, just get it here. And um yeah, that's why we're coming to Walmart to get the ingredients for dinner. 
but I'll get what I can in Walmart. If not, I'll check it with y'all when we get home. Okay, so we're back home from town, and as you could see, it is storming. <laughs> so, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. We really didn't get enough from Walmart for me to haul. Like I said, it was just for that dinner recipe. And if I can find it again, like the recipe steps through Facebook, I'll have a link down below in case you're interested. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get off here because it's almost 4 o'clock on Sunday, and I need to get this vlog edited so that y'all can see it tomorrow. Thank y'all so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. Make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed already and hit the bell so that you are notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye.